defense. It's a lightweight title fight between the cooler and Silky. Silky, ready to go to battle and come away as the new UFC lightweight champion. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. The Cooler making his way to the Octagon. Looking to defend his champion. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan. And his mentality coming into this fight is clear. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Silky is 28. The cooler is 30. Silky will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. <laughs> This is going to be a great fight. The cool Ready fight. So good. What is up, guys, and welcome back to our UFC career mode, episode number 34. And today we've got this bloody Samson guy again. I mean, we fought him two fights ago, and um, obviously we're fighting him again. So Kelly Sampson, who is ranked still number two in the world, after we beat him quite easily, very fast uh, last time. I think we beat him in about 14 seconds, nearly as good as Jose Aldo got beaten. But um, yeah, Kelly Sampson, he is uh, two years younger than us, because, I mean, when we first started, we was 18 years old, and now we're 30, guys. So you can tell it's coming to the end. To be fair, I mean... We haven't got long, obviously I don't really show you my kind of long latuity bar, that's what they call it. But, um, you know, I ain't got much fights left. I think I've got maybe probably three in my uh, locker. So, uh, yeah, but so we have 30 at the moment. Obviously, this guy's a bit taller than us, weighs less, and his reach is uh, a bit, like, longer than ours. But, um, you know, I said, like I said, last time, it was a quick fight, easy knockout, didn't really show what he can do. But, uh, obviously, he's survived, obviously, 14 seconds and longer, and uh, much longer, to be fair. Because, obviously, we're into the third minute now. And uh, it will frustrate me a bit. Obviously, this fighter, is uh, his best attribute is on the ground. I mean, his stand-up game is not the best. I mean, last time, he was, I, don't, I don't think he was 90 rated. I think he was 89 rated. And now, uh, he's gone up to 95 rated. And I don't know why that happens, but... It's weird because, like I said, when I was in the featherweight category, I fought Conor McGregor about five times before. And, uh, you know, the first time I fought him, he was only 94. Then the next time, he was 96. And then the the next two times, he was 100 rated. So every time he came back to fight me, he go up a rating. I didn't really get that because it's just weird because, you know, it's it tells me if I lose a fight that I'll go right down the pecking order. And, you know, obviously, I won't lose my rating. 
but the thing is, if you lose a fight, I, I don't really expect me to get any better. But, um, yeah, obviously, this guy, after his loss against us, he was uh, onto a 15 and 4 record. Um, obviously, before he fought us, I think he was 13, maybe 14 and 4. I don't know. But, um, yeah, obviously, we added a number of losses to his uh, re record, which I'm uh, quite glad with. And obviously, we still won. But, yeah, it was. Annoying this time around. I mean, I couldn't knock him out. I was doing a few head kicks, obviously, because I'm quite an unrealistic fighter. I go in with a load of head kicks, obviously. No, I'm not realistic whatsoever. You know, like, real life, obviously, you got to protect yourself more. you got to be more kind of reassured, back off a bit more. But I just go throw for all head kicks here and there, everywhere. And, uh, you know, that's... It's just for entertainment-wise, I think. Um, so I don't really get bored myself, to be fair. Because if I was just kind of scared to punch someone, or kind of, you know, not going forward, I'd get bored myself, I think. But, um, yeah, obviously, we were, it was getting me into the clinch a lot, to be fair. Don't get me wrong, it was kind of working in my favour, because, as you see, uh, it was making his head red. But, uh, also, I caught him with a few good kicks, to be fair, which, obviously, made his head, uh, obviously... Uh, flash with red that meant it was one more punch to get knocked out but the frustrating thing about this game is it, it you know the player backs off and you can't go forward enough to get him and i don't know why because my movement and my speed i think whatever it's obviously attributed as it's you know it's full i can't do it anymore and it's so frustrating where obviously you make someone uh, a bit unstable and you can't press and, cap and kind of capitalize on that but um yeah obviously it was into the last a minute and 30 seconds here and I didn't really want it to go into a second round because, you know, I don't really... Because, obviously, look at my, my stamina bar. It's uh, gone down a lot more than his, which is basically the same story of every fighter I fight, you know. I'll see I come out uh, full throttle. They'd be a bit more cons conserved. And, um, obviously, uh, I lose a lot more stamina than them. So, obviously, if it goes into the second round and the third round and so on, obviously, they have the advantage, well, better advantage, really. But, uh, as you see, we do get him on the floor into the final minute. You know, like I said, his ground game was the best so um you know we were doing his best to obviously uh not get kind of knocked out it was doing well to be fair it was frustrating me you know every time i pushed her up i'd never get a punch in there uh and then he just kept on dragging me down but to be fair a lot of this fight it was quite scrappy you know there weren't a lot of kind of good hits here and there i mean don't get me wrong like i said i caught him with probably two good uh head kicks which made him unstable but uh, you know that was only really it really i mean he would catch a move punch here and there with a, a body punch but you know again he wasn't doing a lot of damage to me and as you see with 20 seconds remaining i tried to get him on the floor again just one final you know uh, force i just tried to knock him out i thought come on i don't want to go into this second round and as you see he's not defending his face his head's going red we are laying into him with elbows with punches and finally with 10 seconds left just before the buzzer um you know we win the fight so no, it's a good win in the end. Uh, hard fought win, to be fair. I won't say he put a lot of damage on me, but, um, well, to be fair, I won't say I put that much damage on him, because, like I said, it was a scrappy fight, a lot of defending here and there, but um, the main thing is we do get the win, and uh, we do get another win to our record. So, you know, we haven't lost yet, which is the main thing, and like I said, you know, I want to keep winning. I don't want to get a loss because we are coming to the end of this career mode, and uh, it'd just be fantastic if we can go off with a, a win, bit, uh, well, a winning record and no losses or draws. So yeah, obviously here we are. His face, look, it's not very punched up or damaged. Same with mine. He's got a little black eye, but uh, you know, not much. But the main thing is, obviously, we did win, and uh, we get an another win. So you know, bring on the opponents because you know I'm looking good. Uh, people will want to fight me, obviously, better fighters now because I still have the belt. And, um, obviously, I'm not basically ready to give it up because the thing is I don't want to give it up. I want to keep winning. And, uh, as you see, we have won our 35th fight in a row and, you know, just doing very well. But, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. And, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.